Welcome to the DataGen Demonstrator user video. The DataGen Demonstrator, developed by Cedar, supports the generation of synthetic data. In this video, we'll explain the purpose of DataGen and how to use it. DataGen addresses a common problem encountered by companies, the need for data that resembles company data, but which doesn't carry any privacy or confidentiality risk. This data might be used for demonstrating products, enabling training scenarios, testing new software, or to support sales activities. In reality, it's time consuming to handcraft data that resembles real data. Individual columns of data have characteristics that they need to follow, such as a fixed set of values, min or max values, particular types of distributions, and so on. Intercolumn rules or relationships are particularly difficult to specify and reflect in synthetic data without specific tool support. DataGen addresses these issues by enabling easy specification and generation of synthetic data. DataGen can be used in two different modes, manual and automatic. Manual mode allows the user to specify feature and interfeature rules. Automatic mode is based on using an existing data set for seeding the generation process. Both modes are available to the user, depending upon how they want to use the tool. In manual mode, the user goes straight into specifying the dataset characteristics. In automatic mode, on the right-hand side, the user starts by uploading the initial seeding dataset. Looking at manual mode first, the user understands the characteristics of the dataset to be generated, i.e. the names of the columns are features, the values of the features, and how these values are distributed. They also understand or can specify any interfeature rules, for example, a correlation between an educational level feature and a salary feature. Workflow. The usage of DataGen in manual mode, starting on the left hand side, we initially specify each of the individual features of the dataset, their types, their values, and so on. We then define any known relationships between features that we wish to encode into the dataset. These steps are iterative until all features and relationships are specified. Once completed, we generate the output data set as a CSV file. The user interface for manual mode is easy to use. On the left-hand side is the specification panel where we set up the features. A variety of visualizations are available as shown in the center of the panel, including a preview of the data just above the visualizations. The other way to generate the dataset is via automatic mode, where a sample dataset is used. Once the dataset is uploaded, DataGen automatically discovers the features, their values and distributions, and interfeature relationships. It then uses these patterns to generate a new, similar dataset. Once the dataset has been read in, a similarity metric is produced that measures the closeness of the generated dataset to the seeding dataset. A boost function is supplied to allow the user to drive the similarity between the two datasets higher. Visualizations that compare the sample and, and synthetic datasets are provided. Now let's set up a sample dataset using manual mode. We enter in the number of rows to generate, let's say 500 rows. We're going to set up a dataset that has four features, segment, gender, salary, and insurance, plus correlations or relationships between the features. The first feature we're going to set up is segment, as in market segment. It's a categorical feature as it has a fixed set of possible values and has four in this case, segment A, B, C, and D. And we want to control the distribution of rows across these segments. So 20% of the dataset rows will be segment A, 10% of the rows will have segment B, and so on and we have all 100% of rows allocated. And we can visualize to see what we have set up too. Next, we're going to set up another categorical feature called gender, and this will have relationship with segment as we want to control the distribution of males, females within each of the market segments. The table allows us to specify the distribution of the segment values against the gender values. So for example, segment A has 65% female and 35% male, and so on. We can also visualize this. We set up two more features, salary and insurance. Both of these are numeric. As salary increases, we set up a correlation so that insurance will also increase with a positive correlation coefficient of 0.9, as shown in the visualization. 
In the summary, as shown, we have one feature, segment, and three correlated features, gender, salary, and insurance. We click on generation to see a sample of the generated data. We can also visualize any particular combination of features that we wish with suitable visualizations. For example, a box plot showing the salary ranges against each segment, or we can visualize the distribution of insurance against salary. When we're happy that we've finished our specification, we trigger the generation of the data set by clicking the download button on the left-hand side, and we open the resultant CSV file. Looking at the data set, our four features are shown, and they're generated using the various rules and specifications that we entered. Next, we're going to demonstrate automatic mode. We click on Browse to find and upload the seeding data set that's going to be used as a basis for defining the generated data. Once the file is opened, the file and the column titles appear in DataGen, with each column appearing as a feature. We then drag the bar to indicate how many rows we want to have in our final data set. Click on New File and Generate in order to trigger the generation of the new data set. Our new data set appears with features of the seeding data set embedded. We need to see how similar our new data set is. We click on Comparison to access a visual comparison. Our first feature, Species, appears in the drop down box. We can see both the original data set in Navy against our new data set in light blue, with the value of species along the x axis and the percentage of that value in the data set on the y axis. So quickly we're able to see if the distribution is the same in the two data sets. Picking other features from the drop down allows us to continue comparing feature by feature across the two data sets. Moving along the tabs, we click on double features because then we can compare relationships between two features at a time in both data sets. Our graphs show us the relationships for both data sets, so we visually assess that the relationship is appearing in the generated data set in the same way. The similarity between the two data sets is shown as a metric on the top right hand side of the screen. At present, it's 85.54%. If we wish to aim for a higher similarity, we can use the boost function on the left hand side and data generate regenerate the data until a higher percentage similarity is reached. At any time, the user can click the red stop button if this process is taking too long. A similarity in this case of 91.23% is reached. When the user is ready to generate, they click the download button and choose a location for the generate dataset file. The user can then go to the CSV file on their system and open it using the appropriate spreadsheet tool on their computer. This completes our overview and tutorial on the DataGen demonstrator. For further details or questions, please contact the CEDAR team. Thank you.